this video today, uh, mostly for my students. Uh, a lot of them have been working on, or coming to me wanting to work on their right foot. 16th notes is the best way I can find to do it, broken up. Um, so I kind of derived this from working out of the book, Gary Chester's New Breed. Um, and have taken it, if you look above the video, there's the page. Uh, I, I've made edits on some of the 16th notes. The reason to do that is when we take them as just single measures, uh, like the ones I've highlighted, or as we, if we do them as a line, it sounds less like an exercise. So by all means, go through it with written, as it is written. It really helps work on your right foot. But then we've got to make it musical. So that's what I did. Now, I'm going to play it the line as is and play the line as edited and also play the uh, highlighted measures. So the ostinato is very simple. Uh, right hand is going to be quarter notes, two and four in the snare. Um, also think about um, the way you tune your drum, the bass drum, uh, how it's muffled. Is there a big hole in the front? Is there, is there a lot of air? Um, there's also the consideration of your pedal. I play in a, in a rock pop situation. I play a pedal where the beater is yeah, just quite a bit away from the head, loose tension on the spring, the pedal board's fairly far up, and I'm playing heel up, primarily on the ball of my foot. Um, I know some guys can do it with the heel down, that's awesome, um, but obviously when I play jazz, it's a whole different pedal, a whole different setup, a whole different drum. Um, so take those things into consideration. Um, and then after I get done with the exercise, I'll do some improv with the 16ths, uh, with a groove that's above the video as well. Um, and then just do a little improv of all the limbs with the 16th bass drum broken up as a featured drum.